up next, it's a lightweight bout between Bruce Lee and Hey guys, Hooker. this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be showing you the lightweight bout between Bruce Lee and Daniel Hooker. I hope you guys can like it. Division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. This is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Daniel the Hangman Hooker! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. We'll be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a ground weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big kick lands.
Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Ninety seconds and counting here in our opening round. Oh, big knee. Oh, straight right. Can't take any of those, you better check. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Liver kick. Shot is blocked there by Hooker. Nice body kick. And he landed the right hand there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, collar tie. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed this kick with so much force. Big body kick man. Unable to land the head kick there. 20 seconds left. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Flush right hand is true. Tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. What a fight so far. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Misses with the right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Just missed on the uppercut. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Just misses with a left hook there. Two minutes to go in round two. Under two minutes to go. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Try to establish that jab. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his bully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really this fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent got him going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Final minute. Lee's got his back, and this is one fighter in OAM that you don't want anywhere near your back. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Hook. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Just a slip there. Fifteen seconds. 
seconds to go. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Third round underway. Good stick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Hooker gets caught with that punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. <laughs> that punch, no good. Left punch is true. Nice defense there, huge block. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. He's looking for that left hand, not there. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. On, man. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Strong hook lands. Give me the takedown. Right, come on. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. All right, he engages in the single collar tie, and they separate. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Nice punch there by Hooker. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Leg kick checked effectively there by Hooker. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets the target so fast always brings his hand right back to his face. Unable to land with that punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Calm down. We knew it was gonna be a bloody fight. We knew this, okay? You ready? You ready? Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, nice! Just misses with the left hook. Nice punch there. 
What a body kick. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Booker gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Just over two minutes now to go. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. He's throwing every part of himself. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. finding the range to land those punches. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. Nice knee to the body there by Lee. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Ooh, what a punch. Let's get some offense. Rips the body there for good measure. 15 seconds remain in the round. Big kick land. Straight to the body by Lee. Oh, right under the elbow, right under the elbow. It was a perfectly placed shot. And you see it the corner of the actor. Why do that part? All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. And what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low. But when he goes up top, he's very powerful. And he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight. But he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Ready? Ready? We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Oh, big shot lands. Oh, he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Real sneaky body. Whoa! Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Hooker's got his head looking for a guillotine.
Let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. So this is the lightweight bout between Bruce Lee and Daniel Hooker. Thank you guys for watching. Celebration is on in his corner and hard to blame these guys sort of waiting to exhale get a huge win tonight And not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground They could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loves the most